In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to parse response data so we can use assertion on them. Again, it's very easy with Playwright. So, let's go to our first test, for example, and let's tag it with that only. And now, after you actually call this response, you get a lot of data. So far, we have been asserting the response status, which is a typical first step which you should do. But then you can actually assert uh, the content which came with that request. So how to do it? Very simple. Typically, you would create uh, another variable and the naming would be something like response body. And here we want to parse it into JSON. So json.parse and now await request or oh sorry response dot text and save it just like this and by calling this json.parse and providing it the response text which came from that request we have technically created a variable which now contains all the important data from the body in nice json objects formats and then you can simply use assertion on them or working with them let me show you. So now if I just console log it, response body, you will see that we actually get some nice JSON with the data already formatted for us. So now scroll a little bit up and you can see our test passed. And here is the content of the response body. You can see there are two JSONs or basically it's one JSON you can see it's one big JSON, but it contains two objects. One is named data and one is named support. Uh, the support is not connected to the data itself. It just added here in favor of, you know, a little bit supporting the creators of the request in. You can actually get a link and it just gives you a message that you can say thanks or contribute them some money. But what's important for us is this data. You can see that the data object for the user contains his ID, his email, his first name, last name, and his avatar. Let's say I change this to user number, let's say three, and I call it again. Then you can see that we got a completely different set of data, but in the same format. And we are getting it this nice formatted thanks to this JSON parse function. And then you can technically call very simple expect functions to verify data and the content inside this data object and also the support object or any other JSON data which will come in the different endpoints. So let me clear that for now. And we can remove the dot only from here and save it. And that's pretty much it and we can remove this console log and in the next video we will take a deeper look on how to actually assert the data coming from the get request but for now just remember after you call some request it can be get put whatever you will always get response back and if you want to like parse data from the response to be in this nice json format always create a new variable and use json.parse and await response.txt and you are good to go.